Filipino people can speak English well, but... The Thai people, I mean, they kind of get a bad rap when it comes to the English, uh, in my opinion. But I can say something as an absolute. In my own experience, they are underrated with their English. I never had really a problem communicating there in Thailand, honestly. And I, I don't speak Thai or anything. Although there is, there's no doubt the Filipinos can speak much better English. There's no question about it, obviously. On top of that, when you are living in the Philippines as a foreigner, it's nice. See, you know, it's ABC everywhere. You know, the signage everywhere. It's, it's Everything's in ABC. With most of the signage there throughout Philippines, it's 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 in English and it's comforting. Even if the, the sign is in the local language in the Philippines. It's in the Tagalog or it's in Basayan. It's better having it written in ABC. You, you may not understand it, but at least you can read it. Rather than the Thai alphabet, which, you know, you, you got to study and you got to learn it. Okay, well, that's cool if you're down with that. So, in you know, in, in Thailand, there might be a coffee shop called something very simple like Hello Coffee. You know, it might be simple name like that. But if it's written in Thai, you know, you have no idea what the hell it says. However, I mean, personally, I had no real problems there in Thailand. You know, on the street level, walking around, whatever I wanted to know or wherever I wanted to get to, I had no problem, really. But I mean, look, this is a, a versus video. And look, the Philly Willy, it wins hands down in the language department. Let's move on with this sucker. The Filipino people, look, they win hands down when it comes to friendliness. I mean, who beats the Filipino people in the terms of friendliness? I mean, they're beyond friendly. You know, sometimes they're even a bit too friendly. Like, for example, hey, my friend, where are you going? You know, it's like, um, like, oh, I'm... I'm Heading down to the coffee shop, you know, you might say then, you know, they sort of look at each other and laugh like, they, you know, they didn't actually expect you to reply. But yeah, you know, that's uh, the Filipino people. I would walk around in CDO at, you know, it's 3, 4 a.m., you know, I'd jet lag, you know, and I'd see these guys drinking and, hey, Joe, where are you going? You know, like this wouldn't happen in uh, Thailand. Not that I'm not saying you'd want it to happen, but you know, it just goes to show you that the Filipino people, they are super duper friendly. The Thai people, you know, there's not really smiles, you know, it's not the same as the Philippines. They're a bit more direct, honest, uh, more more straightforward. But yeah, yeah, when it comes to the peeperoonies, look, I got to give it to the Filipino people. In Thailand, you know, in my experience there, in my personal experience, there, there's never been an incident where the taxi guy says, the, the meter's not working or, you know, pay whatever you want. You know, and if, if you give one peso, because that's what you want to pay, he says, hey, that's not what I meant by pay whatever you want. But uh, I mean, in Manila, you know, this happens all the time. It happens more often than not in uh, in Manila. I mean, hey, try getting an honest test taxi in Manila, you know? I mean, these guys in Manila, look, let's just be honest here, guys. I mean, they may as well just put up a sign saying how they are going to rip you off. Because look, it's just so obvious. It's like all they think, it's, it's like they think they're the only ones doing it. What else that happens, uh, what else that has happened to me in Manila is the guy, the taxi guy will, you know, quote, mistakenly, miss the turn and uh you know have to go the long way around it's like dude you know i would have just tipped you if you just brought me there but now you know you know you know but anyway you know then grab comes around grab a rooney comes around and it's like ha ah, screw you guys because hey you know i got no sympathy for rip off dudes you know it, I, I remember uh, i'll tell you a story about you know my hometown why why vr you know vancouver airport I had one big problem every time I went home. The the problem was that the problem was that my hometown was right next to the airport. So the taxi guys, they couldn't make much money on my trip, you know, especially after waiting in the lineup there at the airport for so long to get a customer. So I understand their desire, right, to get a profitable passenger who lives far away. You know, but hey, what can I do? You know, I needed to get home. So when I got in the taxi, they'd ask, where are you going? I'd say, Richmond. Sorry, sir, my car is broken. Or they they just look straight ahead, wouldn't even talk to me. So it's kind of forcing me to get out of the car. It was always incredibly awkward trying to get home. So what I, what I did was I was forced to tell them that, you know, I'm going to Coquitlam or somewhere that's going to take an hour to get to. 
Then, as you know, we left the airport area, I tell them, oh, sorry, it's, it's Richmond I'm going, not Coquitlam. And of course, you know, the disappointment had a strong vibe in the taxi. It was incredibly awkward. But, you know, what happened? Then the SkyTrain came to the airport and in Vancouver and, you know, nobody needs the taxis anymore. So it was fantastic. But anyway, in Thailand, uh, the worst that happened is they asked you to take, they ask you to go to some kind of shop. And these shops are huge. And the whole thing is like these shops will pay the taxi guys. And it's more common with the tuk-tuks. But if you're just going somewhere around Bangkok, it doesn't matter. You get a tuk-tuk or a taxi. You're going to get there at the same time. Anyway, they'll bring these foreigners to these shops. And, uh, you know, you don't even have to buy anything. And I've done it one time as I had a Korean girlfriend who wanted to actually do this. I always avoided doing it because I just didn't know what to expect. She wanted to do it. So, you know, I just followed. I said, okay, sure. So we went, uh, the taxi guy brought us to this place. And, you know, it's this big kind of, you know, mini mall kind of thing, thousand square meters or whatever. And, you know, there's a bunch of customers there because you got all the taxis in Bangkok bringing these foreign customers there. And it's, it's kind of like a mini mall, you know. And uh, anyway, you know, we just walk through. There's an entrance and an exit, you know. You just walk through. It's, it's, we kind of did window shopping, curious about what they had available and didn't buy anything, you know. We just walked out. Nobody tried to even sell us on anything. It was, it was fine, you know. It was a good experience. And uh, the guy who brought us there then met us at the exit and then drove us to our destination. So, yeah, I never had any problem with taxis there in um, Bangkok. So, yeah, uh, with the, when it comes to taxis, uh, the capital cities, Bangkok versus Manila. I, I'm going to have to give it to good old Bangkok. But if you are in Manila and you're just using Grab, I don't know if Grab's available in Bangkok. I'm not sure. But, you know, if, if, there's, if there is Grab in uh, Manila but there's no grab in Bangkok, then I'd have to give it to Manila. So I, it all depends if grab is available in Bangkok. I'm not sure. I just found out that grab is available in Bangkok. So in that case, if, if you got grab in Manila and grab in Bangkok, well, then it's the same. But hey, if you are not using grab, then I'd have to give it to a uh, good old... Um, Good old Bangkok, good old Thailand, but since Grab is available, it's got to be equal opportunity. Both, both countries, both cities that represent the country in this versus category are going to get a wonderful point. Now, when it comes to places to rent, okay, as a foreigner, you know, um, you know, kind of short term, Thailand is going to win this hands down. In my experience, I mean, Thailand has like a ton of places for rent. I mean, like 100 times more than the Philippines. I mean, on top of that, look, in the Philippines, hey, let's just be honest here, guys. They have this mentality of, you know, it's a foreigner, let's charge double. You know, they have this kind of mentality in the Philippines. On top of that, you know, you, you need first and last month's rent, and it's doubtful you're even going to get the deposit back in the Philippines. In, in Thailand, you know, they don't do that crap. It's one price, you take it or you don't. Like I said, they are very straightforward and honest, you know. In any bigger city in Thailand, you know, they're, they're going to, they're often, their streets with just rows of rooms for rent, kind of like South Korea style. It feels, you know, you can walk around, uh, see rooms for rooms available, and it's it's kind of like, you know, you got to walk around, you got to hunt around for it. And in in uh, Thailand, they're just so plentiful, you hardly ever have to, even have to look around. I mean, furthermore, look, like it, it, let's just say three hundred bucks is your budget, okay? So you got this budget of three hundred bucks. You're looking for a room to stay in Thailand. You know, the room for that price is going to be more modern and also bigger in Thailand than it's going to be in the Philippines. For some reason, in Phil's, you know, they, they want to charge more and give less, you know. And it's, it's on top of that, it's like, you know, they don't even want to really want to clean it up. You know, it's kind of like, if you want to rent it, we will clean it kind of thing. Where in Thailand, you know, they will have it all cleaned and prepared before the tenant arrives, because, you know, that's going to entice them to actually want to rent it. 
But, you know, in Philippines, I mean, they, they just don't care like that. When it comes to, like, getting more for your money in Thailand, that's just how it is sometimes. I don't know. It's just, it's just market forces. Like, for example, my Irish friend says that he cannot afford to live in Dublin as the rents are just too high. And he's saying, like, Dublin, I mean, it's not beautiful. It rains all the time. There's no tourists. It doesn't have a lot to offer. Why is it so expensive? The, you know, that's just the way it works sometimes. It's market forces. And Philippines falls into that category here. And for some reason, Thailand, maybe it's just they have so many places to rent. They definitely win in the housing category, hands down, no question about it.